One of Dayton's schools is gaining national attention today for its efforts to curb violence outside the classroom. Brooke Moore explains what's ahead today for Belmont High. Well, this morning, the principal of Belmont High School, along with a couple of Dayton police representatives, are on their way to Miami, Florida. And in the next two days, they'll find out if they've won a prestigious award for their success in making the high school a safer place. The Dayton Police Department is one of a handful of agencies from around the world competing for the Herman Goldstein Award for Problem-Oriented Policing. Nearly four years ago, the school was controlled by the students, and the cops were called on an almost daily basis. But in 2008, Principal David White took over. Teaming up with the Dayton police, they developed a plan of attack. They identified hot spots and troubled students, established strict rules, and took a no-tolerance approach to crime. And their efforts paid off. Fights went from 143 in 2008 to 17 in 2010. That's an 89 percent drop. Assaults 83 to 10 and arrests down 53 to just a single arrest in 2010. The high schools also improved academically. In 2008, only 30 percent of freshmen were eligible to move on to the 11th grade and last year 84. Dayton police say now they can focus more on the city's safety. Well, we were averaging, I believe, uh, one call per, of service at the school per day. So for every school day that was in session, the police were there every single day. Um, when you take that aspect out and put those officers and the, the rest of the support staff that goes along with supporting those officers on other crime and disorder issues, we could have impact on a greater scale. Now the group will be in Miami until Wednesday and that's when they'll learn if they've won the award and we will be sure to keep you posted. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore, 2 News Today.